Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light. Hey, Jill, look who I have. I have Thelma today. Oh, she's moving everything around. <laughs> come here, baby girl. She's, she wanted to come say hello. So make a special appearance for all you lovers for Thelma. Um, she's, uh, she's my pride and joy. <laughs> Anyways, today is March 24th. Uh, let's see what today's energy is going to be all about today. Um, let's see, get some cards going here. Hope everybody's having a good week. It's been a lot of energy. There's been a lot of planetary movement. Um, the age of Aquarius is upon us, a brand new area era. Cards are flying out all over the place. One more card, please, spirit. Come on, one more card, there it is. All right, so the first card is the Two of Swords. Then we have the Six of Swords, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So we're in a very uh, new energy right now with um, Aries season. We have the Spring Equ Equinox this week. We have um, Pluto moving into Aquarius. Uh, on, on the 25th, tomorrow, we will have Mars moving into Cancer. It's been in Gemini since October, I think it was. And it's been really trying to um, make, you know, communicate. Gemini is a communication planet or a uh, Gemini communication sign. And Mars has really been struggling with that communication and trying to reinforce and and um mars mars has just been in that planet in that, in that sign um for a long time so it's moving into cancer um and i kind of feel like this is going to and i can see where, where mars might not even like being in cancer either because cancer is a water sign and it wants to go with the flow and mars is about control so I think that Mars right now is going to be, um, you know, we're, we're kind of struggling with that internal ego, that that responsiveness that we need to try to um, work through within a, an inner level for a little while here, because um, Mars is our uh, drive and our ambition, and um, it, it wants things now. Um, so the way these cards are flowing right now is, you know, the two of swords is trying to find that mental peace. Where can we find, where, where can we go within and find that mental peace, that time where things might be shifting and changing energetically, astrologically, and Mars is going to have to go into a sign where it needs to go with the flow. The Six of Swords is about going from rough waters into calmer waters. So in Gemini, Mars, you know, it, it wanted to really speak its mind and it really wanted to um, have things um, communicated their way. It was very, um, the communication was, I want this, I want this. And so now it's going into a, a water sign and instead of an air sign, it's going into a water sign. So you have two air signs right here that's moving through this water here. And what it's now saying is, oh, I need to be a little bit more patient with my wants and desires. So there's a need for calmness and peace and patience right now as we go through transitioning from rocky from rocky waters into calmer waters we need to learn how to go with the flow in this energetic time frame in this now current moment going with the flow peacefulness calmness of the mind into a more calmer state of being overall and and mars doesn't always like that because they want things now it's it is part of the ego so this is where this Pluto in Aquarius energy is now assisting that Mars ego energy because it the Aquarius energy is saying, yes, you as an individual are important, very important. 
However, how you do it as a whole makes a big difference about what your outcome is going to be. And this is where this Queen of Pentacles is coming in at. She's saying, hey, I built a mansion here. I built a lot of success and I did it in a way which was through peace and calm movement, watching my actions, responding from a healthy place as an individual. I was able to create my empire, my success story. So Aquarius is coming in with, with Pluto and Aquarius. Is kind of, How can we transform our current way of thinking and doing to just being and allowing and flowing with what is going on rather than forcing it right now because mars wants to force things and with it going into cancer it can't it can't because we're going into a water sign which is telling it it needs to flow so if you are feeling like you want something really bad or you need to force something you will be met with resistance right now because it's not the way of the flow so trying to force something to happen right now is not going to happen. It, what, what's being asked of every single one of us right now is if we are feeling this tension, we are being asked to calm our minds, meditate, go into a quiet space, find something to calm your mind, find something peaceful to resort to. Go from that difficult time into a more calmer state of being. So that you can clearly hear and clearly understand your next steps to your heart's desires and your goals, whatever it is you're trying to meet. So again, this Pluto and Aquarius is about an individual level, transforming it, transformation right off the bat with this Mars going into Cancer. It's a transformation right off the bat. And it's pushing you along the river so that you can find a different way to be in that transformation process that Pluto ushers in transformation so that you can have a more abundant outcome in the end. All right, hope this helps. Hope everybody has an amazing day. TGIF, happy Friday, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.